Perfect. Okay, Kathy, yeah. we're recording. Okay, sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you. Yes. How was your day? You went with friends? We did. I went. Um, uh, we went to uh, the, there's a Christmas craft uh, show at uh, one of the churches. So they uh, they circulate around. The, it's that time of the year where they start doing right. the craft sales. Um, sorry, I'm looking this way so I can see you on the monitor, but I know I'm actually filming this way. You know, so this is the way I'm looking at you. So it's kind of okay. Kind of that's okay. Huh? You're you're way more savvy with this than I am. Well, no, Benjamin is way more savvy at this <laughs> than than you know I am. Anyways, can you hear me? Okay. I can. Perfect. All right. So, yeah. So the, the nice thing was uh, it was one of those events that's advertised on Facebook. Um, so it just says when certain things are happening locally. So I ended up just sending an invite to a few of my coworkers because we, we stay in touch through Messenger. Um, so that we're chatting almost every day. So, cause we miss each other. We're not, you know, sitting in the center, you know, back to back and, and sitting there crocheting and knitting during our shifts and chatting anymore. Um, so a couple of them were actually able to make it today. So it was nice. So we, we met up there and for the first time in like 18 months, we were able to hug and, and say hello. And, you know, it's just, it's, you know, we really miss each other. Right. Yeah. So. It's. It's been an interesting year, hasn't it? Yeah, very much so. Very much so. Um, so. So not without its ups and downs, um, you know. But granted, I I don't miss uh, having to drive into the center uh, where we work during the winter months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet that's a bonus. <laughs> oh yeah, big time, especially with the amount of snow and and stuff like that. And it's just just the time. Uh, the time that it would take to drive to and from work is sure. just immense, yeah. So it's nice because then I was able to switch it up. So in the mornings, the time that I would normally be on the road, I'm out walking with the dog. So oh, good. Jake good. appreciates it. All right, are you ready? I am. Uh, did I'm, you... cur I'm curious as to what documentation is on that parcel that yeah, they I, so insisted on having. Yeah, I and I don't actually see any documentation on here. There's nothing. Um, yeah, it looks like the bot, other than that yellow sticker on the face. Yeah. Uh, and then, that's facing me uh, on the bottom now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't see any changes, you know, because they wanted a special document that I had to uh, send to them and I hand wrote it and it's just a mystery. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I don't know what they did. Um, now I can see up here they've written no CI, so no commercial invoice. So I bet okay. you the paperwork is under this. Well, yeah, see what, see what you see there. But um, I know I checked the details of it in the uh, the FedEx tracking, and it said that all duties and customs or whatever, any extra shipping charges are going to be charged to the shipper. So, okay. But yeah, that the one uh, that should be a computer i computer label. Yeah. And then that's just international ground one time general agency agreement. That there's nothing. There's nothing extra okay. here. Well, they were just I don't know being dicks. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but seriously, Kathy, the amount of tape that's on this. Were you expecting it to fall in the river or something? No. <laughs> what 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 we did is I put it in a U.S. mail priority box. Uh huh. And packaged it all up, and my husband took it to the post office, and he said, and then he came home with it. He said, "Guess how much it's going to cost to ship this?" Mm. And I said, forty dollars." And he said, "Try double." And I went, "What? What?" <laughs> and so, so I had to cover it with paper sacks, right? And that's why there's so much tape because I didn't want to unpack the entire box. <laughs> so. I'm gonna um, 
start slitting your box. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, cutting through the layers of tape here. Oh yeah, it's... <laughs> I love all the arrows this way up. Well, I didn't want them to put anything on top of it, you know, not to crush it. <laughs> You know, not back the truck over it. You know that. Yeah, because you of. never know what they do with some of our packages. Well, and for a while we had a letter carrier that would pull into the driveway. We live out in the country. Pull into the driveway by the barn, toss the box out of the truck, and leave. Oh no. And I had to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with the postmistress, too, I've known for years. And she said, "Well, he's new." And I said, "That don't make an excuse for him." No. No. I said that could have been fine china. Yeah. It wasn't, but it was like well, dog food or something. It's, it's kind of like all those horror story videos and, and things that you saw of the way they handle um, baggage on airplanes. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's got... Okay, so that's that probably got done. everything. <laughs> Holy... Okay, so that part's done. Okay. So now it should be just another layer of tape. Yeah, but where the heck did my my cutter just go? Oh, I can't help oh. you with that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Got it. Okay. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking peanuts out of mine. Uh, yep. There'll be a few for the cats to play with. But yeah, I saw your post about, uh, was it Maggie or... What's Maggie, my Maggie? mouser. Yeah. That I, was, that, I had not even had a cup of tea yet, and that mouse popped right out of the toaster. Okay, uh, that that was seriously freaked me out. Cat that would seriously freak me out with a, a mouse coming out of the toaster. Uh, a friend of mine said, that's why I went to a toaster oven. <laughs> <laughs> And I went, you know, that makes a lot of sense right now. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Okay. okay, so I have your card in front of me, too. And I have your card. Okay, so I'm going to open your card, and you open my card, and it's tulips. It's lovely. Aw. Enjoy. Well, that's really sweet, Lori. Aww. From your stream? Really? Yes. Nice. So, I usually like to include things that perhaps people may not uh, have available to them. And so, this has a little, a little bit of some, things in there from Indiana. Very cool. So okay, now I now I know you said you didn't wrap yours. I wrap did not. These. I just put tissue on top. So yeah, um, you can you can unwrap. <laughs> you can open yours all and dig through it. Go ahead, just keep <laughs> opening. <laughs> oh my God! What is? You wrote a book? Yes. Song of the Muskox. There's a treasure wrapped in gold in the bottom of the box. You sent me Kiviet. Maybe. Oh, oh, that is awesome. That is incredible. Oh, wow. Right. So when I was in grad school, I had the opportunity to go to the Northwest Territories and work with the native people to set up a cottage industry of knitting. And what that did is it introduced me to a lot of things, one of which was a woman by the name of Dorothy Reed, who is a knitting person in Oregon who worked with the University of Alaska right. to set up uh, right to set up a set of knitting symbols that we all use now for lace knitting for the people that could not read English but they knew how to knit. And so it's a long, long involved story with a couple of sidebars, one of which when Dorothy passed away, all her knitting designs were distributed among her friends. Right. 
they all gave them back to me. I have 250 unpublished patterns. Wow. And then um, probably 15 years ago now, I was in Banff, and there's a Jacques Cartier store which sells right. Kiviet. And I went in there. I was with a, some horse people, and I went in there. I said, I'll be right back. And so I'm going back to the sales shelves, and I found a Nashok or a smoke ring that was nipped by one of the ladies that I worked with in Holman. Unbelievable. And then, and then the, the last sidebar is about four years ago, a gentleman in Canada contacted me. He had worked with the domestication in Alaska, and he's writing a book about the muskox and Kiviet. And I, I've been able to supply him with documents and correspondence that he needed for his authorship. Nice. So it's really cool. So that talks about spinning and combing out a hide if you ever get a hide and dying with lichens. <laughs> you know how much a hide would be? Oh my Lord. Oh so there God. you have it. That is incredible. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ooh. Holy but crap. the treasure's on the bottom. <laughs> I, I I know, but there's treasures on top, too. Oh. There's Merino. I see tags. Yeah, your your logo, that's really nice. I really like your logo. Oh, Romney. Oh, I love Romney. So that's a bunch of hand spun. Right. Merino and Merino. The I just needed some. Just... I I needed packing material, so why not put some yarn? <laughs> well, you know that that makes sense. Those are some cool colors. Those are really nice fall colors too. Ooh, and then the orange and the the brownie gold. Well, that's what I thought. It was fall. It's autumn time. Oh so. yeah. This is like having a whole bunch of minis. This is awesome. So there you go. That's a great collection. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, time for you to open a couple. Okay, so let me say this one says the squish factor is real. Okay. Yeah, so you need some scissors with you for those. Okay, I've got my scissors right here. Oh man, you vacuum sealed these. Oh you? yes, I can get more in a box when I do that. <laughs> I never thought. Oh, oh, great. Ooh. Oh, they're so nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I think okay. there's, I can't remember. I think there's silk in those. It's uh, alpaca and superwash wool. Right, okay. So that that's why they're so soft. Okay, I'll put the tag with them so I don't forget. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Uh, someone said you smell, yeah? <laughs> After being in the barn this morning, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I did change my clothes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, wow, is it wild or what? <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, that's... Uh, Butt so bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Butt bubbles. <laughs> I, I don't know what Patty's thinking when she puts names on the soaps that she makes, but it's just, it's hilarious. Well, it's like that the yarn that everybody was talking about, the way it was named, it was Goose Turd Green. <laughs> <laughs> or, was, yeah, anybody was, that has seen geese, especially Canada geese, knows that yep. that's a very distinct color. <laughs> very, very. All right, keep digging. Okay, I see a bunch of locks. Well, I sent you a variety, so you can you can kind of play and oh, and they're so soft. That's mohair. Uh, it's either mohair or it's um, um, Wensleydale or Teeswater, one of the two. I don't know if there's a tag on there or not. 
No, no tag, but those okay. definitely. Oh, those, feel, those, yeah, those might be mohair. Those, those ones feel mohair. like mohair. I've got some mohair yeah. in my stash. This one feels like it might be Wensleydale. It's yeah. not as soft as the mohair. But oh god, I love curls. I love locks. Well, you can use them for so many things. Oh, I you know. know. You can either just fan them, or you can people rug hook with them. They do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and and I've used them when I make dryer balls too, and make little patterns on the dryer balls. Oh, yeah. yeah, needle felt them in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And then I see a big braid here. Oh, and the chocolates are falling out. <laughs> well, I just kind of turned them loose in there. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, and they're Ghirardelli. Oh, yum. Okay. Wow. Where's so the that's, end of that's this braid? A fun braid. Holy. And in fact, I'll send you a picture. I'm just, the sweater that I'm knitting the sleeves into uh -huh. is knit with that same braid. It turned into yarn that I spun. Monhegan Island? Right. It's a little island off the coast of Maine that's very much um, an art colony. Wow. But it's, it's from Colorado. Sheep. Cool. And it's got, it's 75% BFL and 25% Tessa silk. Yeah, oh. it's fabulous. Oh, that's really nice. It spins beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's like, okay, I've already got one project on each of the wheels, so I got to finish those before I You got to get busy. This. I know. Okay, okay. Okay, next. Okay, let me see. <laughs> oh. Yeah, a sad world would be without chocolate. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Oh, great minds think alike. <laughs> because I think this is exactly what I sent you, maybe. Uh, maybe minus one. The sea, sea salt, salt caramel. caramel. These are dark chocolate. Here's your milk chocolate. Because you said you didn't want milk. You didn't care for milk. Yeah, I'm seeing sea salt caramel milk chocolate. Love See, it. There you go. Love it. We were perfectly matched, it seems. <laughs> and then we've got four. Oh, years. that goes for something else. It's a it's a mismatch of little balls of stuff. For your little weaving. Okay, well, keep there's a treat in there, so just put that aside for now. There's something that goes with that. Okay, okay, putting it aside. Um, <laughs> just just pick something else. Oh, open, get the bubble wrap thing. Bubble wrap thing. Yeah, Got that's fragile, so be careful. Hopefully, it's not rattling. No, it's not rattling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a ceramic mug. I love sheep. <laughs> oh my God, there's a cute little sheep. Oh my, what else is in here? I can't remember. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I just had some. Fun. I had some Halloween stuff. So but that is gorgeous. Yeah, that, that was made by a potter here in Indiana. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the color. Okay, so do so I. I bought one for myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. Uh, the tube fits over the shaft of your Mingo and Asho, then glass goes in sleeve. Oh, that is awesome. What is this? Oh, that's the uh, pottery card. Right. Okay. So, so the, There's something I don't know there. if your cat does it, but my cats love to chew on the tips of my support spindles. Well, mine and are so, usually kept away or in bags so they don't get to them. So, yeah. So... After finding that on a couple of them, I went down to my husband's workshop and stole some of that rubber tubing to yep. slip over the tip. That and then sense. I discovered, since I wear cheaters, all those glasses cases. Right. And I went, that's perfect to put over the tip of a glass spindle. That's, so that's all that is. Exactly. That's perfect. Good idea. All right. And then. And then oh, that's just, that's squishy. That's fun. <laughs> it's all fun. <gasps> Add-ins. Add-ins for the bats. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's like Tessa Silk or something. 
Yeah, it might be. Oh, okay, yeah. so I'm opening one that, oh, trick or treat candy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are my favorite. <laughs> Good, because that was the last bag I could find. I couldn't find any after that. Okay. All right, so that one goes down there. Holy crap, you packed a lot in here, Kathy. Okay, we have another boo. Oh, yeah, that's just more fun. We right? have more Holland fun fiber. Stuff. That's for fun. <laughs> it is. It is. It's like the, the bags that I get from World of Wool. Oh, and I have a great new notebook that's grass. That's perfect. Oh, yep. Those are going to be so fun. Add those to bats. That's a great color combo too. Well, it was kind of come kind of wild, but <laughs> you know, you could find a use for it. Oh hell! Oh my God! Cotton clouds. I see their ads all the time. I'm not one that I buy from, but oh, that is so well, cool. Well, I, I thought it's a towel kit, so you can you can make it on a rigid heddle, or you can make it on. Just a simple loom. Exactly. My little rigid samplet is up there. So that's perfect. Hawaiian Did ice you... towels. That's an awesome pattern. There you go. I love the colors. Okay. I know what I'm warping up tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> right. You're going to get snowed in, right? Uh, not yet. They're still calling for rain, but it, there's a mix of uh, rain and snow over the next, you know, basically five days. Uh -huh. So. But, okay. Yeah, we have, um, we, it was sleeting a little bit this morning, but we have weather moving in tomorrow, which is going to be wet and nasty and cold. Oh, how cute, a little sheepy. Yeah, that's really sweet. Hang that anywhere. It's going to go on the, the ornament tree that has sheep ornaments, so it's perfect. <laughs> perfect. And then we have another bundle of minis. Now those are dyed with natural dyes. Mm, they're so soft. Uh, and um, I think the browns were coffees. Really? Okay. Yeah. And the blue might, it's kind of a pale blue, yeah. might be black beans. Wow, okay. And the whiter one? Um, I think it's just a neutral so that okay. you have something to, to put together if you were going to make something with it. Oh, the girls, my knitting group, were, um, well, it's the Ottawa Knitters Guild. Um, and there's a bunch of us that do our Zoom meeting on Sundays and get together and knit and go over what we're, you know, working on. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the cap hat. I don't know if you've oh, seen yeah. that. Oh, uh yeah. -huh. I have. Um, so I was looking, I was like, I've got a, a jar up here of minis um, that I've been collecting for a while. And I, I'm, you know, trying to figure out a color to go with it so you know because there's different sections that's color work right uh, is that the is it, are you using the pattern from the Shetland Museum I think so yeah from yeah I, I knit that about three or four years ago when it came out and yeah, make sure you check your gauge because I mine ran big one of the I and I'm pretty sure one of the ladies said the same thing she had the same problem because the only change in gauge for that in size is by changing your needles in, right in the pattern so it's like it's not like you um add extra stitches or take away so i think she said the same thing she made it with uh the thinking she was making the the medium or the or the large hat and it came out far larger than she needed it to be so. right yeah mine fit my husband <laughs> so <laughs> oh my god there's more chocolate oh i just turned the bag loose in there oh no it's it uh, yeah well there's that too <laughs> Orville Redenbacher. Now, when I was at, going to university, uh, he was my boss. <laughs> really? So you get popcorn. That's not from that all, long time ago. It's new popcorn. <laughs> wow. And those are just the snack sizes. So the, when you get the munchies. Yeah. Well, that happens. And then there's all kinds of fabric 
What did you do, woman? Well, well you said you were a quilter, so no, I thought I'd send yeah, you some you... fun stuff. Can you see the log cabin one I've got I on do, the back? I do, I see that. Oh, those are awesome. And buttons. So, oh, and those are a local potter. I know, they're heavy, holy. And they're, uh, yeah, they're really fun buttons. They are. Those are so cool. And those are some interesting fabrics. Those, like, look vintage. Well, that, that's from a line that was um, trying to mimic vintage. <laughs> well, they did a good job. Oh, I got um, husky fur. How fun is that? Do you blend this or do you just spin it as it is? Uh, you can do either. I've done both. Okay. Because I have Shelties and I've done both as well with them. So that one's already washed. If you ever want okay. more, just say so because Jake is a never ending source. Well, yeah, that's how my Shelties are. It's yeah. like. <laughs> Until he passes on, of course. But yeah. yeah. Oh my Lord. Okay. Okay. We have another Let's book. See. That's just a um, a feel good artsy inspiration book of, yeah. on color and nature things and and so very nice. I love my gardening books. Oh, well, that's cute. They do it by date. Mm -hmm. So you can look at one each day. If you wanted to, you could. And what to grow. That's a cute little book. Thank you. You're welcome. That's awesome. Okay. There should All right, be a, a in. big one. Oh, yeah. Where was I? Yeah, that's about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got something inside. <laughs> More goodies inside. Oh, cool. Tools. You can never have too many tools. So I have to open these. Okay, so I have a ruler. And what are these used for? Spinamajigs. So you know when you um, are finished spinning for the a certain little time and you oh, don't want to lose back and forth. You don't want to lose your thread, then you just wind it on there. You wind your fiber on there and just hang it on your hook. How cool is that? <laughs> it's fun trading with somebody north of the forty-eight. <laughs> Oh, stitch markers, you can never have too many in my opinion. You might see a theme when you get to something. And then, of course, some great lotion, pistachio, which happens to be a favorite. Oh, cool. So, thank you, thank you. And then I got a batik bag. Yeah, project bag. Yeah, I love batik fabrics. That's actually that log cabin quilt that's behind me that I'm working uh -huh. on. It's all batik fabrics. Really? Yeah. So that is awesome. Yeah, you never have too many project bags. Oh my god. Little star posted notes. And then there's beads. I didn't know if you did anything with beads. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Hematite. Oh Yeah, you I use beads. Sometimes yeah. for knitting, but a lot for weaving. I put them on, um, you know, just like you preload them on a yarn for yeah. Um, yeah. for knitting. I'll do that if I'm weaving something. Ooh, just to jazz oh, cool. up a scarf. A yarn bowl. Yeah. Yay. Oh, and uh, knitting socks right now. This is going to be perfect. <laughs> thank you. Did you make these? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Yep, Those are lovely. Handy. I love the fabric. Yeah, I made a, a mask with that fabric, too, that I wear all the time. Oh, great. Especially now that this, you know, season has kind of started. Exactly. Good Lord, Kathy. Whoa. There's stuff flying out. It just wants to come out. Charles okay. and Tea Gardens. American That's American tea. tea. That's American tea, not imported from the motherland. <laughs> 
Well, De Benjamin and I both drink tea, so we'll definitely give that one a try. Charleston, South Carolina. Cool. And then what? Our oh, that's pot. What? Local Dark pot. Roast. Brown oh, the cats are going to play with these. We'll see if they share. <laughs> My uh, cat from hell, which is Maeve, has decided that she is still the queen of the universe. Uh -huh. So, Well, and so. they both have catnip in them. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably just go with one at a time. Yeah, let's see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, that's whole bean coffee. Um, from a local roaster. Nice. I have a coffee grinder. Oh, good. I usually ask, but I forgot. Yeah. But it's um, my coffee. My coffee drinking friends say that's a pretty good blend. Oh, it smells delicious. I know what I'm brewing tomorrow morning. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and the treats just keep coming. And more Three. fiber. We have another. Let's see what that is. Uh, we have another braid. Uh, yeah, that's another braid. Cool color. Just a fun one. Yeah. Chevy at South Down. Nice. I've processed a, a South Down fleece before. It was really, really? nice. Yeah, we, we grow them up here. Mostly in Ontario, though, I think. That's where I got Oh, is this uh, moose jerky? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't been hunting for moose lately. <laughs> okay, just a wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it's alpaca and wool. Oh. Those I've got the, plans for this. Yeah, those were the ones I got uh, from the... Um, from the Maurice Broussard store. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. I figure if oh, you don't wow. want them plain, you can dye them. I'm oh, sure I have a way of them. making color. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but they were so soft and I thought, yeah, I gotta send some of those to Kathy. Oh yeah, those are awesome. Okay. Holy. Okay, we have. Let's see what's. Knit and pearl lemon, oh, hand balm. Yeah. Hand balm. Utopia knit and pearl lemongrass eucalyptus. Oh. Yes. Oh my god, this smells so good. And I go through hand creams like crazy. Yeah, I not starting to this time of year. It's yeah. just crazy. For stiff, sore and cranky hands in need of soothing relief and hydration. Nice. Oh, it's got arnica oil in it. Perfect. Yeah. Arnica is so good. It's so hard to find stuff with arnica in it anymore. There was a brand of stuff that I was finding with arnica in it and then, you know, some creams that were really nice. Okay, right. now I got a goodie pouch. Okay, let's move. Scissors, little sheepy Oh, scissors. yeah, I thought those were cute. Those are adorable. Oh, a really nice shawl pin with a pineapple. Let me see. Oh yeah, uh huh. And then there's there's other things in the back. Oh, cable needles. Is that what that is? Well, I go so they look like miniature miniature knitting needles. Yeah, those are. I just discovered those, and you can use them for cable needles. You can use them for stitch holders. Um, and they were just too cool. They are, and like they're they're formable. Yeah. So if there's wire under that, but they've got nice I'm surprised on them. Okay. And then, and then what are these little guys? There's a butterfly and there's oh a puppy. Those you might use and um and the same way that those uh, the things to stop your um for spinning. Uh, spinning fiber from going up in your wheel. The, the spinamajigs. Yeah, or you could use them for another thing that's still buried in there. <laughs> okay, let me put them back in here so I don't lose them. But those are the coolest things. I've never seen those, uh, the little needle ones. 
Yeah, good luck getting these back in. <laughs> yeah. Go. Go back to your home. Or you can use them for bobbins for um, stranded knitting. Yeah, yeah, and that that's an idea because I want to do the cap hat and it's going to have some extra. Mm -hmm. And then there was another little item oh, in yeah. here, wrist ruler. Ooh, I don't know if you've seen those or not. I no. It's a wrist ruler. And you might want to put some leather conditioning on it. I have But that. it's a ruler that you can uh, wear on your wrist. So if you need, if you go someplace uh, uh, and need a ruler, you have one with you. Yeah, instead of taking one of the ones that I usually take with me. Yeah. They're just pretty cool. Yeah, and if I can get my fingers to work, it does fit. It's perfect yeah. size. Come on, get on there. There we go. Yeah, a friend gave me one and I went, oh, I've got to get one of those for somebody else. So That is so cool. Yeah, that would definitely come in handy. Wrist ruler. Who'd have thought? Because I usually have one of my extensible ones with me mm -hmm. in my purse. Okay. Okay, so I already did those. Mm hmm Oh, I gotta get something else. You gotta get a book. There's I mean, I know I've got a pile going. Oh I found, found my bat. Did you do the bat? Yes. Wow. That's gonna be fun. That is awesome. Yeah, we can never have enough fiber, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so excuse me. All right, let's see what's in this one. Tees. All right. And a, another little pouch. So this is, let's see, Earl Grey, Cream of Earl Grey. And they're in bilingual, Buddha's Blend, Green Passion, Forever Nuts, uh, S'mores Chai, excellent. Yeah, Benjamin loves the Cream of Earl Grey. It's his favorite. Oh, really? I, buy, I buy big packages of it. Oh, Yum, yum, yum. Now that is indigo dyed uh, tencel. Wow. I we have a uh, tencel is so shiny. We have a, a gentleman that's on faculty at the university here that grows Japanese indigo. And I took a workshop with him a couple of years ago. And he's the one that grew the indigo but uh, another weaving friend of mine uh, did the dyeing. Nice. It's nice so. with the, you know, how it's um, graded. Right, and you can, it's not a warp, but I have right now on one of my looms, I have a warp of tinsel on there. And then what I do is I use um, pearl cotton as a weft. Okay, yeah. And so, uh, and I get a really nice fabric that has body, but still drapes. Yeah. And I and, think the and, pearl cotton I'm using is 5-2 pearl cotton. Yeah, and that's what this says. It's 5-2 uh, tensile. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the pearl cotton would still give it, continue to give it a nice sheen. You, right, exactly. And yeah. I think I'm on my third project with that combination the tinsel for the wet warp and the pearl cotton for the weft. wow and you're making scarves with it or something uh, i made some scarves and right now i'm making i made a shawl out of one and now i put a double wide warp so it's 36 inches wide uh because the the lady that does the dyeing hand paints warps mm -hmm. and so i bought two warps and uh i'm get, making fabric for a jacket Nice. That's going to be so, gorgeous. Yeah. I'm really happy with it. Who's your that's hill just, fiber that's just, festival? Yeah, I just threw that in because it's got animals on I it. I know, but it's adorable. <laughs> it's going up on my wall. And then free self-guided And tour. that's, I'm part of a studio tour. Yeah. And finally, I'm number one on the tour. Nice. <laughs> We just we just finished that, and I thought that would be fun for you to see some of the other people in the county oh, that do the artists. Yeah, oh, is this gorgeous? Back to traveling again. 
Oh my goodness. Well, this isn't going to stay shut in this bag. I've got to open this up. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Merino and silk. Yum. Oh, wow. What a nice capelet that is. I thought and then you a little like box. That you like lace work. Oh, and then this is the closure. How fun is that? <laughs> wow. That's awesome. I better get snowed in because I've got too many projects now. <laughs> you and me both. Oh. Okay, so we have Napa Valley Fiber Club. Oh, oh it's just stitch markers. <laughs> I know, but they're adorable. Look, there, there's a little camper. I recycle, I recycle the container. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. A little camper and a little sheep and a spinning wheel and a little star. Oh, sunflower and a spool. Those yeah, I figured you get a spool because you're a quilter too. Yes, they're adorable. Yeah, you can never have enough stitch markers. You're always looking. Oh my gorgeous. gosh. I have thousands. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. And, aw, look at this. Oh, a little tapestry. Little oh, tapestry to card. Tapestry to hang up. On a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll help me. Oh, oh curly rock. My husband is going to. <laughs> oh, you got. You're opening I the box. The curling stuff. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I My didn't... husband is just gonna scream. It's just gonna just <laughs> that is awesome. Thank well, you. And if you want one for him, maybe for Christmas or something, just let me know and I'll put you in touch with the I'll give you the link for the company I got it from. Hey, perfect. Thanks. <laughs> How funny is that? Oh, and then print some my, about my wheel. Thank yes. you. Yes, yes. I printed it out that day. I figured you may as well have the printout. It's great. I just, um, this morning, put all my loom manuals and spinning wheel information in a notebook because nice. I was tired of not having them. Yeah, that's why I've got oh. mine in a binder. Music. So that's uh, a local musician. Right. So nice music on it. Celtic, so well, she's my, a um, my background Hammer is Scottish, Goldsmer. so that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, there you have it. Yeah, labyrinth walk. That's cool. Okay, I'm running out of room. Uh, there should be one more, a couple more things in there. Oh, there is a bunch of cards. Oh, just because everybody needs cards. They're photo cards. They're just blanks that the photos that I took and made into cards. Oh, really? Yeah. They're so cute. Like that that's an awesome mushroom. Oh, sheep. I'm like squirrel. Sheep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's perfect because you you've stamped them on the back. Uh-huh. Oh, I like the sheep. I'm not giving that one away. I'm keeping that one. Right. Yeah, I mean, because I always like to put, you know, a card in with a package and so Oh, that's a nice loom shot. Oh yeah. That's yeah, that's the tensile. That's the tinsel that I'm weaving right now. Yeah. I love those shuttles. I have a couple of those ones as well. Uh, that's my go-to shuttle. Okay. Let's see what else is in there. Okay. Get, uh, save the gold package. Yeah, that's the last. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then we have, it looks like a little Kleenex box. Tissues, yeah. I figured it was winter. Hey. You might need those. Yep. It is so cute. I know, I've seen the uh, patterns for making these. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could probably copy it with no problem. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like a pillow slip cover pattern. Right. It's pretty easy, mm -hmm. but um, they do come in handy. And it's nice instead of just a plastic wrap. Exactly. So, all right, and then there's a bag. Why oh, does this Okay, happen? okay. That's what goes with the Ziploc bag that I said to hold on to. You sent me a loom. I sent you a little tapestry loom because everybody needs to enable somebody else. <laughs> oh my God. The 
this is so cute. Oh God, look at the pick. Oh my, and you started it. There you go. So you can see what, what to do. Ashes, I'm gonna shoot you. Okay. Oh my God, that is adorable. So now you have a new toy. I do have a new toy. I can sit there while Benjamin's watching TV or playing his game. Right. So what I do sometimes with those little plastic critters that were in that one bag is I'll wind some yeah. tapestry yarn on those if I'm doing just a small area yeah, of color. You can, yeah, you can do a little landscape. That is a very yeah. colorful pick. I have Isn't never that seen cool? one with all that kind of glitter in it. Yeah, I, I somebody I met makes those, casts them, and I just thought, oh, that's kind of funky. That is. That on. That is really so you cool. have a bobbin and you just have a little yep. few things to get you going. So yep. if you are so inclined to do a little project, I like it because I can sit at night and just do it. Yeah. And if you have, what I have is one of those um, cutting boards that has a cushion so you can cut on one side, like a rotary cutter on one side and then iron on the other side. Like right. Quilters use. You right. might have that. I use that as a lap table. <clears throat> when I weave with those little looms at night. What is this? Is this a That's bob a, a bobbin lace bobbin, but I use them for tapestry bobbins too. Okay. Because I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not sure I've seen Yeah, so before. there's a, there's a purple heart one, a regular tapestry bobbin, and then right. that's a smaller one. Uh, and then you have those little plastic ones just right. to play with. Yeah. And then so I sent you that Ziploc bag of fun little fibers that you can use in your use with that. Perfect. They're going in there right now. Oh my God, I got so many things to do. <laughs> okay, um, let's put this here. Okay. And there's chocolates floating all over here. Right. And then there's your gold. There's the gold. That's the kiviet. Oh okay, God. so there's two different kinds there. There's okay. raw kiviet which is the one without the bag. I might have labeled them. And then what's in the bag, actually, both of them came from Canada. Right. That is a lovely Kiviet roving. Oh, okay. That yeah, is... I, I know the company that uh, is Cottage Craft. I've, I've met the people. I've, the, that is the nicest fiber I have ever spun. And so that's probably three or four yards it's like a pencil roving. Yeah. Wow. And guess what? Your Mingo and Asho will love that. I can imagine it will. Now, do you typical do you blend it with anything or do you just spin it? Not out that ro not that roving. I don't. Uh, right. I ply it with right. uh, silk, real fine silk. Right. Or several different other possible fine threads that I have. I have a silk wool angora in it and um, the raw kibbit, you have to pick some guard hairs yeah, out. I can, I can see them. And then you can blend that, but when you blend kibbit, um, you don't want to be really aggressive in the blending yeah. because it will pill. It's very soft, so it's kind of like alpaca in the fact that it will pill easily. Yeah. And you don't, don't uh, real aggressive with hand cards. Don't too much. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But yeah, I know Cottage Craft because most of the uh, fiber festivals that are uh -huh. in the Ottawa area, they're usually there. Yeah, and they're really wonderful people. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, I did an article for Ply a couple of years ago now, I think, uh, when they had the support spindle issue. I don't know if you're familiar with that publication. I have my subscription, yes. Yeah. And uh, I think Cottage Craft sent me some kibbiet to use in the article. I have to Sample. think. Yeah. So, so there you have it. There's your treasure box. That's a hell of a treasure box. That is awesome. So, enjoy and have fun with everything i will you too and i love everything that i have it's going to go back in the box <laughs> i'm going to hide the curling cup minus the chocolate <laughs> back in the box minus the chocolate 
<laughs> That's funny, we sent the same chocolate. <laughs> Oh, this has been wonderful, Kathy. It's been so great getting to know you, too. Yeah, it's been fun, Lori. And and seeing your posts, and, and now I have a new friend, and, you know, hopefully if I'm ever able to get down to Indiana, I'm stopping by. I like horses. You should. You should. It's really funny because I just recent, just yesterday bought a sweet little loom from a lady in uh, Hawaii, of all places. Oh, my. And it was, it's a sweet little table loom. I've been looking for one and for, of that type. And she said, oh, by the way, my sister lives in Terre Haute, which is about an hour away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, you're not going to visit your sister. I have to pay to have the shift. <laughs> well, when so. you got, when you got the, um, the newest spinning wheel and you got, you said there was another uh, loom that looked like, uh, like a steampunk thing. Did you ever sort out how that works? Well, it's, you know, it's really funny. And the, the ties of fiber are just incredible. So um, there's another publication in the States called the Spinning Wheel Sleuth, which you might be familiar with. And the, I've heard of they it, yeah. go back and um, people have historic wheels or whatever and um, do research. Well, they also did uh, some editions where they talked about loons. And one of the issues uh, had was about that steampunk type loom. Okay. And so I contacted the author of the article and she sent me all kinds of good tips because she restored hers. Mine doesn't have the, uh, it's complete, but the original cable set attached to the harnesses so that you can um, raise and lower them was a rawhide shoestring. Oh. And so it's long gone. And so this uh, author suggested that I use uh, weed whacker uh, yeah. plastic. Yeah. And gave me some other tips about it. So fast forward to last weekend when I went to Illinois with a friend of mine to a weaving retreat. Right. And I bought a, an easel to put a tapestry loom on. You know, you see, I, know, I, 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 I see saw things. the post. So I have that easel in my annex which is the guest bedroom upstairs and i have that loom sitting beside it and i get a message from a lady that i bought a dorset loom i don't know if you're familiar with dorset looms they fold yes. small footprint they're great for taking to workshops yeah. and i bought this dorset loom from this woman so trish sends me an email and she said i love the new easel but I wanted to let you know that I have one of those steampunk looms too. <laughs> and I went, really? And she said, yes, do you need any parts? And I went, what? So, so she has extra harnesses which have clean, non-rusty heddles on them. So she's sending me the heddles. Oh, nice. Yeah, because there's seven, in, seven and a half inch heddles and you can't get them anymore. Right. Yeah, you so seven and a half inch. And Maurice Broussard doesn't have those either? No. Wow. And so if that's okay. that was the best thing is that, you know, out of the blue, a, a, an acquaintance came on and said, I've got just what you need. Yeah, so, small world. When you Yeah, it's yeah. really great when that happens. Yep. So and I want to get it to working. It's you you, you turn the wheel to raise and lower the harnesses. Right. Oh, yeah. And it was it was designed for people that had physical challenges that maybe couldn't use their hands or their feet to switch the harnesses. Right. So the, all they had to do, it has a series of metal posts in it that uh, you arrange in a certain configuration and it weaves your weave structure. Cool. So all you do is turn the wheel and it advances to the next automatic. It's like a jacquard loom almost. Okay. It's really cool. Yeah, that's my winter project. It's going to be interesting to see that when you actually get it, you know, up and running. Yeah, I, I'm excited about doing it. And in fact, this this friend of mine, she and I are both going to do our restoration together because she has to fix hers. So we're going to share information as we work through it. Perfect. Which is good. All right, my dear, you have a box of fun. <laughs> I do. So lots oh, of treats. Yeah, and, you know, enjoy everything that's there and just stay in touch and 
definitely. I'll send you a picture of the sweater from that braid that you are caressing there on top. I know, it's so soft. Oh, it was just, and in fact, I asked the dyer, I said, tell me, how come you know about Monhegan Island? And she said, well, I saw the name on a map. And I had been with some friends one summer, and I said, it's really a magical place. Uh, there are no cars on the island. Oh, you take really? a ferry to get over to it, and then there's all people that have summer homes that are artists. And it was the worst, most rough ferry ride I ever had in my entire <laughs> life. Uh, yes. Only my fr a friend and I were the only ones that did not get sick. Oh. And we were useless to our other friends because they were sick, and we were not even going near them because we did not want to be sick. <laughs> Wow. Well, I will definitely enjoy everything here and Great. I will post as I use stuff. Okay, so, and I'll do a post as well. Yeah. So, this is cool. Oh, I love the mug. That's Good. so nice. The little sheep on it. It's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I'm glad you like it. All right, sister from another mother. Right. Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> well, it's a couple right. months late, but we're good. You know, I'm already probably going to that warm place anyhow, so I figured what's one more life. <laughs> Not a problem. And you signed up for the next wool swap? I did. Yeah, so same here. So Yeah, I, I used to do fiber share, and then that kind of went away, and I found about wool swap. And wool swap is, I like it a lot better. I do too. I like the fact that you're actually swapping with the same person exactly. instead of someone else sending to you and then you sending to someone else. I got burned on that once and I'm like, yeah, not doing it again. Yeah. And I just, you know, I've had some really interesting people and um, yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been, you know, great to be able to share with somebody and get to know them and, yeah. you know, figure out what little extra things you can put in as surprises. And yeah, like I and said, true. It, she's Canadian. She doesn't have Kivyet. What's wrong here? Because <laughs> it's too damn expensive. Oh, my God. You go out in the field and collect it. <laughs> <laughs> I come some out of a hide. I... <laughs> oh, yeah. But, no, this has been great. Thank you so much. I oh, love everything that you sent. I'm definitely going to, um, you're putting, you're going on my Christmas card list. Okay. All right. Enjoy, Lori. All right, you too. We'll talk to Take you care. soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.